second win today. She will go up to 32. The significant speed. That she would probably get a ranking, a seeding position rather in the Australian Open, depending. have chosen to play doubles this week just to get some extra court time under their belts at the st and follows it up nicely again there 49. didn't feel that she was serving at her best against uh, Shelby Rogers the other day Good serving, but Begu's standing really deep. So last season, and on the grass in Eastbourne as well, in one of the lead-up tournaments to Wimbledon. There's some pretty good second serving going on right now in this match, isn't there? Dealt with very comfortably and authoritatively. Successes she had were all on hard courts in Tashkent, Seoul and Flory. Florianapolis in Brazil. So after a break point and a little scare, reached the last 16 at Roland Garros also. Confident. <laughs> Guess right. Controlled the shot down the line. And this time, the error from Begu, from Ostapenko, is costly. And Begu finally wraps up the set. The marathon game with more than 10 juices. Of attack at the moment is. Surely to keep Ostapenko on the back foot and questioning her own ability and confidence. Game. Big serves like that help, Game. and the follow-up wasn't bad either. <laughs> Begu is playing well. Let's not detract from how well she is playing and how well she coped with the early Ostapenga onslaught. <laughs> Made it. Challenge goes in. Begu's defence, whether this is in or out, has been outstanding today and was in that rally and she turned from defence to attack and it looked good to me, looked good to the linesman, looks good. Well, a misjudgment just sums up what a sad day it's been for Yelena Ostapenko. A tournament that promised so much after a fabulous start with the destruction of Pliskova. But she herself has been taken apart with a magnificent performance from Irina Begu.